Hey, today we're gonna to talk about two ways that you can hack SEO for 2023. First, we're gonna talk about how you can automatically create and build unique blog content for free and how you can optimize your Google business profile. So today we're gonna to look at how we can do these two different things with a very limited amount of time and really optimize your dealership's website utilizing uh, two key features. The first thing that we're gonna be talking about is chat GPT. Now, if you haven't heard about this, this is an amazing AI driven tool that can do some absolutely incredible things when it comes to writing content. Um, I'm not gonna get into a lot of how it works and how sophisticated it is. All you need to know is how to get in there, what questions to ask to be able to extract original content that you can use for blog posts on your dealership website that will optimize your dealership website in search results page listing on uh, search engines. So I have been a big believer that content is king when it comes to SEO. Now, of course, you're gonna have to make sure that your dealership website is structured in a way that is set up for search engine optimization, making sure you have the meta tag and the meta tags data and that, that, that you have your dealership website registered and it's being, um, uh, it's being crawled by Google and other search, uh, uh, search engines. All of that things, your dealership website should just be doing. So really what it comes down to is, well, what content is going to be crawled and indexed on these search engines to make sure that your dealership website is going to pop up in those organic search results. So that's gonna be the first thing that we talk about today. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and I'm gonna talk about this uh, chat GPT. Now this has only been out and available for a few weeks at this point. So it is something that is brand new and marketers like us are really trying to figure out, well, how can we utilize this AI driven technology to help us drive results for our dealerships? So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So I, I have in here uh, the UI for uh, chat GPT. And what I'm gonna do right down here is I'm gonna do something very simple. Is it write me a blog post for how to buy a Honda? Boom. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna see it live and it's gonna write us a blog post that you can then post on your dealership's website and potentially other uh, places. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read what is being typed right now in a matter of just a few seconds. So um, are you in the market for a new Honda? Buying a car is a big decision and it's important to do your research to make sure you're getting the best vehicle for your needs and budget. Here are some steps to follow when shopping for a Honda. Number one, determine your budget. How much can you afford to spend on a car? Make sure to factor in not just the purchase price, but also insurance, fuel, maintenance, and other costs. Number two, research models. Honda offers a wide range of vehicles from sedans to SUVs to trucks. Decide which type of car is right for you and then research different models within that category to see which features and options are available. Number three, test drive. Once you've narrowed down your choices, select uh, uh, schedule test drives for the models that you're interested in. This will give you a chance to get a feel for the car and make sure that it's a good fit for you. Uh, number four, Consider financing. If you are not paying cash for the car, you'll need to decide how to finance it. You can get a loan from a bank or credit union, or you can finance through the dealership. Make sure to shop around for the best rate and terms. 
Number five, negotiate, or, uh, negotiate the price. Once you've decided on a car, it's time to negotiate the price. Don't be afraid to haggle. The sticker price is usually negotiable. Make sure to do your research on the fair market value of the car so you know what a good deal is. Number six, uh, complete the paperwork. After you've researched an agreement, uh, or what, I'm sorry, after you've reached an agreement on the price, you'll need to complete the paperwork to finalize the sale. This will include signing purchase agreement and transferring ownership of the car. Buying a Honda can be a rewarding experience and following these steps, you can be confident that you're getting the best car for your needs and budget. Now, how great is that? Now, I could ask um, a chat GPT every single day to write me a new blog post just based on how I am uh, forming the question or what I'm requesting. I could ask another one to write me a blog post uh, on how to finance a car when you have bad credit. So this is going to take a few seconds. <clears throat> and I'm sure that taking the time just to figure out what questions to ask somebody that's experienced in automotive or even not experienced in automotive can do this once a week ask for seven different blog posts and post this to your dealership website or to your facebook page or any place else every single day now i'm going to go ahead and start reading this again so if you have bad credit you may find it more difficult to get approved for a car loan however it's not impossible you just need to be proactive and prepared here are some steps to follow when financing a car with bad credit and they go through and it's continuing to write as you can see right there so if content is king when it comes to SEO and being able to put content out there on your dealership website, so when it gets indexed and searched and crawled by Google, it's that type of content that is going to be optimized for search results pages. So when somebody in your area searches for how can I finance a vehicle with bad credit, potentially this content is what's going to show up in a post uh, 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 as, as a link from your dealership website. So the more original content that you can add to your dealership website is what is going to make a huge difference. Now, there's a lot of SEO companies out there right now that is doing this for you and they're charging thousands of dollars per month. I've seen premium SEO uh, companies charge a thousand, two thousand, $29.95, I would challenge you to go into your advertising budget right now and find out what you are paying for SEO and figure out how can you do what I just showed you on a, on, on a, a, on a monthly, weekly, or even daily basis based on the size of your dealership and the amount of people that you have working for you. You can bring SEO in-house, and the more that you can do that, in my opinion, the better off that you're going to be. So that's hack number one, is to use ChatGPT to write blog posts that you can do on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis and get that added to your dealership website. Now, the second thing that I wanna talk about today is the Google Business Profile. So we've talked about that multiple times on this channel before, Google Business Profile, which what used to be called Google My Business, is, a, uh, is your company's home on Google. It, it gives you a place to add photos, videos, posts. It now has the, avail uh, the availability to put your uh, cars on there through cars for sale. Now, there's a couple things that you want to make sure that you have set up properly in your Google My Business. Number one is I'm sure you probably already have cars for sale on your Google uh, uh, Business Profile. I'm going to go ahead and let me get one pulled up here. 
for a local dealership in our area. Go ahead and uh, share my screen again. So you can see this is the Google business profile. You can see this is where the, the reviews are. This is where the different departments within the store uh, are. This is not this video is not designed to be a, a, a holistic uh, view of Google business profile. This section right here, cars for sale, this is where Google will post your inventory uh, on your Google business profile. A couple things that you want to make sure that you have is this link right here, the, the um, dealership uh, listings link. This is what's going to bring the customer from the Google search results page to your dealership's website. This is going to be the VDP URL that's right there. Now, there's a lot of different providers right now that are sending your dealership's inventory to Google and companies like car, uh, companies like uh, Edmunds, Carfax, CarGurus are, are uh, adding a feed for your dealership's inventory right to Google, uh, the, the Google Business Profile. And based on the content that's in the feed, the quality of the content, Google is going to determine what is the best source, and then they're going to select that source. If that source doesn't have a link to your dealership's VDP, that button is not going to show up. So another challenge that I have for you in 2023 is look at your Google Business Profile, look at your cars for sale, see if you have that uh, dealer listings. If you don't, reach out to us. I'll share with you exactly how you can get that added. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is, well, how can you optimize the Google Business Profile? Well, first of all, of course, you're going to want to build out all of the areas and add uh, content in all the areas that you can. You want to make sure that you're updating with new, fresh images all the time. Uh, that is something that is going to optimize Google Business Profile. Another thing that you can do is make sure that you're doing daily posts. Um, a, a, a daily post on Google uh, on the Google Business Profile should include three things. It should include a unique image, it should include unique content, and it should include a link back to your dealership's website. And you can see here what we're looking at is a, is a technology that we've developed that accomplishes all of those things. Daily posts, unique images, unique content, and a link back to your dealership's website. This is a service that we provide for our dealers. Um, now, you don't have to utilize a service. You can have somebody at the dealership go in and post an image, individual content, and a link back to your dealership website every single day. That might take five minutes a day to go in and do that. That's something that you could do. Or you could, uh, if you want to automate this process, you could opt in for our, uh, our, our automated uh, posting uh, service. So today, I shared with you two hacks that you can increase your SEO for 2023. You're going to find this video plus many others at entice.com.